Hi, this is just a quick shorter video of a video I did on my main channel that's almost 30 minutes long that shows how you can get, in my particular case, I got a 20% output power drop from my home solar power system from a very slight diffuse shadow from my antenna cable over the panels. And so I'll link in the full video if you want to see it, but quite a few people wanted uh, me to do a shorter video just to show you the 20% output drop and how this is possible with only a very subtle little shadow you'd think wouldn't make a difference to your home solar system. And also uh, the full video includes a detailed explanation of how bypassing diodes work on uh, solar panels and lots of other uh, stuff as well. So I'll link that in if you want to see it, but this is just a short snippet of this video. Let's go. Okay, I'm up on the roof and the wiggles have started about 10 minutes ago. You can see the shadow of the uh, antenna uh, pole here is not over them, but I can see how as the shadow is going to slowly angle that way and it will actually come across the panels and because these are um, string inverter um, They're all in series if you upset one of them um, It's going to upset the apple cart but you can see that the hopefully that the shadow from this wire is over the panel. So I think the uh, problem is the slight, very slight shadow. Yeah, I find it hard to believe that a tiny little shadow like that could cause a problem. Very diffuse shadow, but it's there. It's visible. It isn't the guy wire. Well, it actually, I can see the guy wire uh, just there. I'm not sure if this is going to show up on video, but can just see the faint guy wire but the coax of course is thicker and it's coming across and the shadow of the uh, mast of the antenna is uh, is uh, just about to come across what is it now half past a freckle quarter past ten so I reckon at about 20 past ten that shadow is going to start come across and uh, of course that shadow of the mast will be bigger than the guy wire and uh, yeah, it's only covering a couple of cells there, but I guess that is enough to uh, kill the output of that. Now, of course, if we had micro-inverters on these panels, we'd be able to see the output from this individual panel, and then we'd be able to go, yep, <laughs> it started on that panel, but unfortunately, this is a string inverter. So that just that tiny little shadow there seems to be enough to, uh, you know, take off like, 10 20 percent of the output of the string that's pretty remarkable i can understand the shadow from the pole but a little shadow from a coax unbelievable all right it's now 11 a.m and you can see that the shadow of the mast has really come across um uh, what one two three panels although the further you go out uh out there, of course, the more uh, diffuse it actually gets. I mean, you can see the sharp shadow across there. It, it's still fairly diffuse, like, and you can still see the coax one. I can anyway. I can still see the coax going across there. Of course, it'll be the orientation. Sorry about the wind. It'll be the orientation of the uh, shadow as well in relation to the cell, whether or not, you know, it kills that cell. And then, uh, of course, the panels have bypassing in them, so the panels will bypass and you'll lose, like, a, a panel or two out of this thing. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now is take down the mast. If it goes away, <laughs> as I predict it will, then, uh, yeah, it's one of those log periodic uh, jobbies for those digital TVs. One of them snapped off. Bloody kookaburras. It's definitely worth the test. And uh, if I'm losing this amount of power, I'm definitely going to move the antenna. Okay, ten past eleven. And the antenna's down ski, no more shadow. So I'll be able to look at my uh, data now pretty immediately, next five, ten minutes. And if it jumps right back up to the uh, what is 17, 1800 watts that it was at uh, before, then that, that was it the diffuse shadow of the mast. Are we, you know, kind of expected if it was like a, like a big sharp shadow but it's you know especially that little coax 